Hey, good weekend to you. Welcome to Leading Edge. I'm Jerry Anderson. I hope your New Year is off to a great start. I know both Ohio State and Michigan fans are licking their wounds this bowl season, but both, you know, will be back. Up first today is a Toledo hospital being dismantled or at least greatly downsized to the potential detriment of the health of the citizens in one large populous geographic area of our city. The hospital is UTMC, the University of Toledo Medical Center, the centerpiece of the school's health science campus. With me are two of the voices raising serious concerns about the future of the facility just off of Arlington between Bern and South Detroit. Randy Desposito, who heads AFSCME's local 2415, which represents many of the hospital's employees. Also, here's the former three-term mayor of Toledo and a South End resident, our friend Cardi Finkbeiner. Welcome both. So it was reported you, late man. summer that UTMC would downgrade and it would do this voluntarily, as I understand it, downgrade its trauma center status from level one to level three. The hospital is saying it just didn't have the level one trauma traffic to justify what it takes to maintain that status. Was that a red flag to either of you? It was to the union folks at the University of Toledo Medical Center, um, only because uh, when you downgrade it to a level three, we don't think that a level three would actually support the services that we currently have now. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it was a red flag. It was also a red flag earlier in the year when they moved the clinics. Okay, I wanna to get to that because we should note right now, and I'm gonna do this right now because it's gonna flavor much of the rest of our discussion. UTMC and ProMedica, the huge healthcare system, signed a long-term agreement in 2015 mm -hmm. that has seen ProMedica pump money into the medical school. But you see it exacting something in return and that's what concerns you. The university's medical school, originally known as Medical College of Ohio at Toledo, yep. then UTMC, UT Medical Center, is the, has been the only teaching, research, and healing hospital in Northwest Ohio. And that's a real honor when you're doing teaching, healing, and research. Um, we see that healing, but at a much more modest level, a community hospital, and I don't know if anybody can define for me what in the eyes of the leadership at mm. UTMC thinks is a community hospital, but mm. it certainly isn't the hospital that it has been, but you take the uh, teaching aspect away from that campus and the research aspect and you put them over at Toledo Hospital, you really no longer have a, a major hospital Think tank, That's what I wanted to will. talk about the agreement between, again, ProMedica and UTMC, because we're going to now get you back to your point when they started moving the clinics, if you will. In other words, this is by medical specialty. Correct. They're moving them out and they're moving them where? They're moving them to the Falzone Center on West Central Avenue. Which is a ProMedica facility. It is. Okay. And with them then goes the patients, goes some employees, and, correct me if I'm wrong, goes the money. Goes the money. The money doesn't work its way back to the University of Toledo. So when... Initially, we had employees call the union and were concerned that, hey, I'm a diabetic, I can't make yeah. an appointment um, on South Toledo, I have to go to the Falzone Clinic, right? So we, we started to check into it. Then we started to get phone calls from the community. Can you make it available so we can get a, a clinic appointment in South Toledo? Yeah. So we started to look into it and that's what we found out. Daniel Barbie, the chief executive officer out at UTMC, has been quoted as saying, hey, this is all just part of a transition to being a community hospital. You made reference to that phrase. So are we questioning that? That I, this is all just part of a transition to a different type of hospital. Carter, you raise the point. What is answer, that? Sarah? Go. I'm going to answer, Jerry. I do not believe, and I know Dan uh, had lunch with him within the last couple of weeks, as well as Chris Cooper, who is the dean on that campus. I, this day, am very confident they do not know what precisely a community hospital over there is going to look like and what type of patients are going to be served at that hospital. And Chris Cooper said to me, the people of the South End need to tell us what kind of services, what kind of healing they wish the hospital to offer. And that's what the series of town hall meetings were We're going to be talking about that. You're sitting there watching this now. You're saying, what, what, they could be taking our hospital out of South Toledo? We have something to say about that. We're going to give you a great opportunity just one week from now on Saturday, the 11th of January, where you can do just that and weigh in. As a union leader, you have to count heads. That is jobs. When 1,900 or so out of UTMC? Roughly 1,900, yes. But as these jobs move, 
are they still in your union or you're not losing those folks? No, we, we, we are. We've seen uh, a lot of jobs that we haven't lost folks okay. per se, but we've lost jobs. So there were vacancies that were held that weren't filled that um, what they did was when those clinics left, they, they pulled people into those vacancies, but those clinics and services are gone. So that's, that's the big problem is, you know, we're concerned about our community, we're concerned about our employees. Yes, it's a union issue, but more importantly, it's a community issue. Is this a health care? I mean, is this, are, are people living in the South End where I grew up, Heather Downs, Bowser, Go Rebels, um, are people going to have longer periods of time? Is this going to affect their access to emergency health care, important health care that they have now? Or At least it's going to impact it by 10 or 15 minutes. Yes. And let me tell you, okay. personally, in 2010, mid-afternoon, April, I had a mini stroke. And um, I called my wife and I said, please get home. And I called my doctor and he, he happened to be Chris Cooper at mm -hmm. TMC. And he said, have Amy drive you over here immediately. Got there about four in the afternoon and uh, emergency room. And Jerry, by six o'clock at night, they had stabilized me. I had nothing impairing any part of my my body, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, spent three days over there. I owe my present physical and mental, some people might question whether it was impacted <laughs> not that me. day, not uh, as sharp as, condition as sharp as yeah. to how quickly they treated and healed me. The very doctor who headed that is now over at Toledo Hospital, Gretchen Tijan. More and more hospitals in general in this country, give me this, have become outpatient centers. I mean, inpatient admissions declining. They just don't occupy the number of beds. And it's everything from insurance. It's a very expensive place to be up there in those hospital rooms. Could we be seeing a right sizing of hospital beds to the size and the needs of our community that could include the closing of at least one Toledo area hospital? Well, that's, that's been speculated. That, that could be a possibility, but I would urge the University of Toledo to really look at this community that they have served for years that has looked to them for guidance in their health care, and these same community folks will, will be there. I would ask the University of Toledo, bet on your community and they'll take care of you. Well, ProMedica does run hospitals. They do, they do. Are either of you saying it could well be within ProMedica's interest to lose a competitor. But I would say that it shouldn't be at the expense of a whole community. This is greater South Toledo, surrounding communities. I mean, we see people from Bryan, Ohio, Wauseon, Ohio. We see folks, we, ha we have well accomplished doctors out there yeah. that are so, they're world renowned. And, and we thought initially when this affiliation took place, it would be a shared service. Yeah. We are a community-based, owned hospital. There's value in that, right? And so we're, we're participants of the hospital. We work there. We're also part of the community. Well, I've heard people on that side say, well, that 2015 agreement was really an academic exchange. You know, their, their, their doctor, their residents can come to our hospitals. And all that. This is sounding a lot more like a business transaction. Yes, it does. And I'll answer your question very succinctly. I think if I were on the staff at UTMC and many yep. doctors and management people as well as the blue collar workers are very, very concerned today uh -huh. that we are in the early stages of first a downsizing and then perhaps an eventually it will not be necessary to have the type of hospital we have had. And the problem with that is that's the only hospital in South Toledo you've got flour. Mm -hmm. You've got St. Anne's and you've got Toledo serving West Toledo and a little bit close by is St. Vincent Mercy. All those are on this side of town. On that side yep. of town, you call, have one. We call time out. We need to take a break. You guys hang for a second? Yes, sir. Randy yeah. Desposito, ask me local 2415. Did I get the local number right? Yes, sir. All right. And you all know this guy over here. <laughs> this is Leading Edge. I'm right back after this.